Hi, and welcome to the Lewis and Clark Stay Historic Site. Today I want to talk about why Lewis and Clark chose to camp at Camp River Du Bois. Why this location? If you know about our site, Lewis and Clark Stay Historic Site, and the historic location of where Camp River Du Bois was, you'll know that they are at the confluence of the Mississippi and Missouri Rivers and near the entrance of the Riviere Du Bois or the Wood River Creek. Why did they choose that spot? Why not stay in St. Louis or Cahokia? Why not travel west further? And that's the question we're going to try to answer today. To, towards that end, I do have a map that I will be using to point out some things. Hopefully it shows up well. Lewis and Clark have uh, been slowed down repeatedly coming down the Ohio and up the Mississippi River. They need more equipment. They need more men. Uh, seasonal changes in the water levels have made it tougher to navigate. And by the time they get to the St. Louis area, the Cahokia area, by December of 1803, they are well aware that they will not be traveling further west this winter. There's just too much ice that's going to start to flow. And uh, big chunks of ice coming down the river against wooden boats, never a good combination. And so uh, they can't travel further west uh, for weather reasons. They also can't for political reasons. I'm putting this flag here. That is the flag that Spain flew over their territories abroad. That's not what you'd see flying in Spain, but it's probably what you saw flying in St. Louis because this territory was still being administered by the Spanish. They'd not yet turned it over to France or to the United States, even though the Louisiana Purchase had been agreed to. I've got a video talking about that clash uh, between goals in a different video about Captain Lewis's meeting with Lieutenant Governor Carlos de Holt de la Sousse. And you can find that in this video right here where I've got a link. So they cannot travel further west. It's just too cold, and there's already the political issue. So they're going to stay on the Illinois side, in the Illinois country. And so Illinois will still stay the west coast of the United States for just a few months longer. Now, Lewis and Clark do have a chance to stay in Cahokia. It's a relatively large town. There's resources there. There's people that want to help them out. And uh, they would be very close to St. Louis for any missions they have there. But... Captain Clark chooses to remove the men from there where they might get in trouble. And in his book, Dear Brother, which is edited by James Holmberg, and in this book here, uh, we have the copy of Captain Clark's letter to his older brother, Jonathan Clark. And in it, he wrote, he wrote that he was looking for a situation where our party might amuse themselves in hunting, clear of the means of corruption. If you have all these soldiers that are single and bored in camp, there's going to be trouble in town. Possibly some drunken fights. Uh, their access to booze is going to be a little too immediate. And Captain Clark knows that if they can have other things to direct their attention towards, they're less likely to get into trouble. They're still sorting out who they want to take with them. And a lot of these recruits are new, so they don't really know their temperament or behavior just yet. So it makes sense to remove them from the temptations of the town, the means of corruption, if you will. So Cahokia is out as well. So both St. Louis is out. Cahokia's out, and they have to stay on the American side of the river. And so they got some recommendations from a number of people. Uh, Lieutenant Governor De La Seuss, uh, Nicholas Giroux, some of the other locals tell them the best place to camp is on Riviere du Bois, Wood River Creek. It's just opposite of the mouth of the Missouri and that will put them exactly where they want to be to start their journey. It's removed quite a bit from St. Louis. We're looking at, oh, about 15 miles. And a little further from Cahokia, about, oh, 17 and a half. And um, it will remove the men from the corruption of the town and it allowed them to start to build a camp. They will build a camp from scratch, cutting down trees, moving them into shape. And they will use this time to sort out some of their soldiers, who were the hard workers. Who can help build a camp? Who can use these tools behind me uh, to throw up a camp very quickly when we're out in the middle of nowhere? And so this will be a test of the men. It removes them from the area. And it gets them close to some other things as well. So I'm going to place Camp River de Bois, just like Captain Clark did with a triangle right next to the Riviere du Bois and Mississippi River. 
and around it, I'm going to put the resources that are now available. There's plenty of game, and that's important. To feed the soldiers, to keep them occupied. And so Captain Lewis and Captain Clark can see who the key hunters are that they're going to rely on on their journey. There's wild game in Turkey, uh, lots of waterfowl, and there's a lot of deer in the area. And so this entire winter, Lewis and Clark in their notes will be keeping an eye on which soldiers are bringing in what game when they go out hunting. It's a good way for the soldiers to amuse themselves as well. Also in the area, lots of trees. That'll provide some wood for them to do some repairs on their boat. Most of that will be lumber they take from St. Louis and Cahokia. But they will need lots of lumber to build their camp. It will take quite a bit because they're going to throw up at least five buildings, probably some more outbuildings. And that means they need a lot of stuff growing nearby. Now, ideally, they would use oak, which is what I have here on our map. But really, anything that's tall enough, strong enough, big enough, are going to be the logs they're going to use to build this temporary encampment. So, Camp River Dubois is resource rich. It's away from the town, but only 15 to 17 and a half miles, depending on which town you're going to, where you can get your resources, access to mail, uh, and where Lewis and Clark can go and talk to people about traveling upriver. The other thing that Camp River Dubois provides is some separation from St. Louis. Now, in the previous video where I talked about uh, the Spanish still administering St. Louis, I said that they're going to keep an eye on Lewis and Clark, and De La Sousa is going to keep them from uh, being able to find out too much information about the Missouri River. So there had been expeditions Spain had sent up the Missouri. There were people from the area that had maps. De La Sousa is going to tamp down on how much access Lewis and Clark could get to those. However, by removing themselves up to Camp de Bois, closer to the Missouri River, they will have access to James McKay. James McKay had been hired by Spain to take an expedition up the Missouri River, and he and uh, John Evans, together uh, on this expedition, will create maps and uh, really good documentation all the way up to about Fort Mandan. So that first stretch, that first year of travel for Lewis and Clark, this guy knows a lot about it. McKay is living up the Missouri River, and since they're far enough away from St. Louis that they're not keeping an eye on him as closely, Clark is able to send soldiers up the Missouri from Camp River Dubois to go meet with McCain, just invite him for a visit. In reality, they're sitting down and going over his maps and his information for where they're headed. So it allows for a little sneakiness on the Americans' part to be removed from St. Louis. It gives them plenty of room to sort out the soldiers and their skills and who the hard workers are. Protects them from the elements from traveling further west. It reduces the rub of politics between Spain and the United States and of all the resources in the area. So uh, a really good location for Lewis and Clark, and they seem pretty happy with it. That being said, it's still pretty nasty when they get here. On December 12th of 1803, when they first land in the afternoon, uh, where they've pulled their boats up for safe harbor in the River Dubois, they are welcomed with hail and ice and strong winds. And for that next week, as they're cutting down trees and trying to throw up their first few buildings, they are greeted with snow and wet and high winds. And so it's a brutal welcome, uh, but it is still the right choice overall because it does give them access to all those things they were hoping for. So that's why Lewis and Clark chose to camp on the River Dubois. Uh, it gave them some protection uh, from the Spanish. It gives them a place to sort out the soldiers, kind of shake them out here in camp, and it gets them exactly where they want to start, right at the mouth of the Missouri River. Uh, if you have any other questions, please put them in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching today. You can find out more uh, about our sites and about Lewis and Clark at CampDubois.com and on our Facebook page. Thanks for watching.